Brothers and sisters, tonight we will witness the blessing, signing, and turnover of an important document for the BLD community, the general norms of the BLD way Catholic discipleship. This document is the fruit of many months of work, which started in March 2021. Among three mandates of our community spiritual director, Bishop Ray, this is in response to the first objective, to assess the BLD spirituality, formation, and transformation of the community. This required the review of the present Christian Discipleship Formation Program, or what we call CDFP, by the BLD Academy, and 200 more or less BLD teachers from our global districts formulating the general norms, reviewing 69 modules, and revising, updating where needed, and finally creating a comprehensive prospectus and an updated roadmap of our formation process, a lifelong formation process to our BLD way of life in Jesus Christ. To give emphasis to our being a Catholic charismatic community, the name of the program has been retitled as the BLD Way of Catholic Discipleship, or BLDWCD. From its original name, the Christian Discipleship Formation Program, or known as the CDFP. The new format will start with the Word of God, then clearly show the why we need to know the teaching and then what the teaching is all about. And finally, with the personal experience of the teachers, share with the learners how to apply the teaching to their life. The new teaching method using adult learning principles and making the delivery RARE, R-A-R-E, -E, which stands for relevant, applicable, relatable, and engaging, will improve the teaching and learning dynamics. There is a fifth phase which is newly added, remain in me. It will address the much needed training of, for our covenanted disciples for Catholic missionary discipleship and also the continuing formation with supplemental teaching. Now let us proceed with the presentation of the general norms of the BLD way of the Catholic discipleship. Our presiding servant leader, Boy C, will now present this document to Father Ted Toralba and Bishop Ray Evangelista. Reverend Father Ted Toralba, we give you our utmost gratitude for the guidance you provided to the editorial board of the BLD Academy in finalizing the review of our Christian Discipleship Formation Program. You have examined and found the updated modules to contain nothing opposed to the Catholic faith and morals, and that you are here to provide your nihil obstat to our general norms of the BLD way of Catholic discipleship. Your Excellency Bishop Ray Evangelista, with one heart and one mind, we, the Council of Servant Leaders of the Bukaslo of Sa Diyos Catholic Charismatic Covenant Community, gladly present to you, for your blessing, the updated formation process labored for the last two years by more than 200 teachers of the global community led by the BLD Academy with a new title, The BLD Way of Catholic Discipleship. With your apostolic blessing and imprimatur, the community formation process will move towards missionary Catholic discipleship in building the BLD community and serving the church and our society. Thank you, our brother PSL. Now, Father Ted will now sign his nail of sat on the document.
Bishop Ray will also now sign his imprimatur on the document. And the CSL led by our PSL will also sign its approval on the document for its release to the BLD global community. I think it's at the back. The CSL will also join in signing the CB. Okay. We now request our Bishop Ray to bless the following documents with our with holy water. The following documents will be blessed. The general norms of the BLD Way of Catholic Discipleship, the compendium, compendium of updated BLD Way of Catholic Discipleship modules, revitalized modules, teach like Jesus and lead like Jesus modules. Our presiding servant leader will now present the BWCD document to the formation servant leader, Giorgio Ancoy Halandoni. We'll just wait for finishing all the signatures. The document has been signed. Brother Jojo and Sister Koi, here is the approved and blessed copy of the general norms of the BLD way of Catholic discipleship. On behalf of the Council of Servant Leaders, you are now to release the general norms and the compendium of the updated modules to our BLD districts globally. Jojo would have said, on behalf of the formation apostolate, on behalf of the formation apostolate and BLD Academy, we accept the general norms of the BLD way of Catholic discipleship. We are ready to implement this renewed BLD discipleship program to the BLD global community. Let's now give a clap offering to the Lord for giving us the general norms of the BLD way of Catholic discipleship and for everyone involved in this endeavor. Thank you, BLD Academy. Thank you, Bishop Pray. Thank you, Father Ted. The newly added fifth phase of the BWCD is remained in me. Jesus says, I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me, you can do nothing. All of us will benefit from the updated teachings towards our lifelong journey to meet, to know, to love, and to serve our Lord Jesus Christ, the Church, and our neighbors to our beloved BLD. That was a long work.
of the BLD Academy with the help of Father Ted for him to give us the Neil Obstat for the document. Now, uh, before we leave, we request uh, some few last words from Bishop Ray. The words of exhortation. There's a mic in front of him. I'm happy to celebrate the Mass with all of you and with Father Ted and Father Vic on this first week of Advent. I remember when I was asked to be your assistant spiritual director in 2019, I felt unprepared and inadequate in the role being offered to me. I have very limited exposure to charismatic communities. Archbishop Angelic de Mayo was so insistent that I accept the appointment, telling me that I will learn a lot from you. At mababait daw kayo. When our beloved Archbishop Angelic de Mayo was called by God to eternal life on July 8, 2022, more or less, I was already familiar with the BLD community and had met your stewards and some members. I knew you. I knew you were one of the more dedicated lay community of the Catholic Church, very active in the charismatic movement. But as I get to know you better, after four years, I came to know how committed you are to our Lord Jesus Christ, to the Church, and to the mission of new evangelization. I had the opportunity to visit some of the BLD districts here in the Philippines and in North America, and every time the joy comes to my heart when I meet many dedicated disciples you have developed through the years in so many places, 65 districts. And so when I was briefed by your CSL of new challenges faced by the community without any hesitation, I supported the plan to form a global study group to look into these challenges, make recommendations, and get us to be on fire going to the 50th or golden anniversary of the BLD community in 2035. I was impressed with how the study was conducted by the CSL study and advisory group. Some of those who work on these documents are here, especially Father Ted Turalba, very professional and with lots of time spent investing very skilled efforts and a spirit-led honesty in facing old and new challenges, offering many noble solutions. Although the COVID-19 pandemic got in the way of the efforts to apply the solutions offered, I am really glad that one main area of concern, that of spirituality, is being addressed. I pray that I can be a good shepherd to you, and I'm really glad that during the presentation made by the BLD Academy, about the formation program, I was able to provide you with a gentle reminder. And what is that gentle reminder? You are a Catholic charismatic covenant community, not just Christian. You are a Catholic charismatic covenant community. We have to be proud of being Catholics. We have to be empowered by our Catholic faith, by our traditions, and by being belonging to the one true church. There is a need to fight indifferentism in all its forms. Hindi pwedeng ang katuwiran, pareho din lang naman yan. Mali. Hindi ganon. Hindi ganon. Knowing fully well that to be a Catholic is to be a Christian, but to be a Christian is not necessarily to be a Catholic. The Catholic Charismatic Renewal celebrated its 50th anniversary last 2017 with the Holy Father Pope Francis, who with conviction declared that the Charismatic Renewal is a current of grace for the whole church. With the updated formation process, you have developed with the help of Father Ted and more than 200 teachers of the global BLD districts, I am fully confident our renewed commitment to our Catholic identity will bear much fruit. I do believe that you, the BLD community, will be the channels of God's grace wherever you go. 
The BLD way of Catholic discipleship will lead us to discover and embrace deeper our Catholic faith, our beliefs, our practices, our traditions. It will also be a big help in your synodal walk with the Universal Church in all your evangelization programs. Hindi kayo nag-iisa sa mission na ito. And our Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me, you will bear much fruit. We were not able to meet and celebrate face to face our 35th anniversary last June 19, 2020. But today, thanks be to God, we can embrace each other again. I will repeat my message to you then. The community united in love is the fertile ground of growth to holiness. The Holy Father, Pope Francis, Father added, a community that cherishes the little details of love, whose members care for one another and create an open and evangelizing environment, is a place where the risen Lord is present, sanctifying it in, the, in accordance with, us, with, the, with Father's plan. Father Ado, as many BLD members fondly call him, used to exhort everyone, and I quote his words, not just to pray together, but to be a community for others. To be a community for others. Those are words of Father Ado. With this reminder, BLD members should always strive to reach out to the poor, to the needy, as I have emphasized also in the homily, to the marginalized of society, a life of service motivated by love that comes from God should be the highest expression of every BLD commitment. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you, Bishop, for those uh, inspiring words. And with that, we end our turnover program. May God bless us all. Let us give another clap offering to for the Lord. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Father Ted. Thank you, Father Vic. Thank you, BLD Academy. And thank you, CSL.